I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. Who's that? Is he with us? Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded the entire homestead. I decided to help Billy and the boys out a bit. So that's just what I did. Mexico was paying for the kid's apprehension. Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. <laughs> Men were Never running around it. like a bunch of chickens with their heads cut Let's off. Send these some bitches running. Like that, you I was inside. Dead, None the worse for wear. I passed Dirty Dave. Deader than a rat in a trap! You think you could kill me too? How about that? Huh? You like that? And upstairs, I found Billy and Charlie Boldry. Billy looked at me and said, About time, amigo! Grab a gun and get to the window! Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? 
Yeah, sort of. Show yourself. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. Who's that? Is he with us? Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. And that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe to toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked on tin star. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. In a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that Penny Dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. I finally reach those damn stables. Stepped inside, and... <laughs> Last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on, how did it end? End? Boy, that was just the beginning. 